at some colleges now. The New York Times has this article, and it is about, uh, it begins with Vanderbilt University. A <laughs> hundred thousand dollars. Why would you pay it? That that is the uh, that is the question. Why why would people pay it? I mean, I'm not. I don't understand why you would pay fifty thousand dollars. To be honest, do I hear twenty five? Yes, exactly. Now you know you have no choice in certain subjects. You have to go through college, but you should. You should. I have said this for so many years. I've so had the same view of colleges. My answer to what college your kid should go to has always been the cheapest one you can afford. The cheapest one. That's it. Does Does anybody care? Do you know that the only question never asked to me that I could think of, whether it's after a speech or my in my fireside chat or on the radio for 40 years i have been asked about my family i have been asked about all so, uh, private things nobody has ever asked me in 40 years what college did you go to that is how insignificant it is as life goes on you are judged on your abilities what can you do Increasingly, it doesn't even matter if you went to college. There's a part of me that wishes I had not gone to college so I could say that, you know? Yeah, but you should still read my Bible commentary. It's, uh, it's accessible but highly intellectual, in part thanks to my knowledge of Hebrew language and grammar. Some colleges will soon charge $100,000 a year. Some Vanderbilt students will have $100,000 in total expenses for the 2024-2025 school year. The school really doesn't want to talk about it. That's the New York Times. It was truly only a matter of time before a college would have the nerve to quote its cost of attendance at nearly $100,000 a year. This spring, we're catching our first glimpse of it. What is astonishing is people are more suspicious of colleges worth now than in any time in my lifetime. You would think that they would want to lower their costs. <laughs> the eye-popping sub is not an anomaly. Only a tiny fraction of college-going students will pay anything close. But a few dozen other colleges and universities that reject the vast majority of applicants will probably arrive at this threshold within a few years. How did this happen, and can it possibly be worth it? Well, so if you hear a student is at Harvard today, I don't know the answer to the question I'm about to pose, but I am very curious you might want to call in on this. If you hear that somebody's son or daughter is at Harvard, do you have the same assumption about their abilities and quality and prestige as you did a few years ago? What do you think the answer is? I'm ambivalent. I, I, I don't know the answer. I th Three months ago, I would have said that, you know, it has really lost its prestige. Or much of it. I can't say all of it. But I, it, it is going to happen, especially in light of the fact that th these colleges are not taking the academically best students. That, because then you, they end up with too many Asians and Jews. They're, they're virtually open about it. That would be like the NBA saying, you know, we, we, uh, we don't want too many blacks playing uh, basketball. 
It is a wonder that people are not challenged on that. Do you believe in merit or do you not believe in merit? And if you believe in merit, why doesn't it apply to sports? Well, at a few small liberal arts colleges with enormous endowments, even $100,000 would not cover the average cost of educating a student according to the schools. How is that possible? Let's see, $100,000. How many students do they take in per year? A thousand? That's a, right, a thousand at least in most of these colleges, no? I mean, at Princeton, Yale, I'm talking about the Berkeley's yeah. probably a few thousand. Yeah. The, so what's a thousand times a hundred thousand? <laughs> ten times a hundred thousand is a million. So a hundred is ten million. And a thousand is a hundred million dollars. Is that, is that right? Yeah, I guess it's right. Does that sound right? We don't do math on this show. That's it's true. It's one of the rules. I violated one of the rules. <laughs> that doesn't that doesn't cover things. Please, seriously. I think I did it correctly. But go into what do you call it? The calculator. Uh, so do a thousand times a hundred thousand. It doesn't cover the costs. It doesn't cover the, if it doesn't cover the costs because so many people are hired not to teach. They're DEI administrators, diversity, equity, and inclusion administrators. For the full episode of the Dennis Prager Show, go to PragerTopia.com, sign up, and become a full member.